African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde, Wikipedia article audio. The African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde is a political party in Guinea-Bissau. Originally formed to peacefully campaign for independence from Portugal, the party turned to armed conflict in the 1960s and was one of the belligerents in the Guinea-Bissau War of Independence. Towards the end of the war, the party established a Marxist one-party state, which remained intact until multi-party democracy was introduced in the early 1990s. Although the party won the first multi-party elections in 1994, it was removed from power in the 1999-2000 elections. However, it returned to office after winning parliamentary elections in 2004 and presidential elections in 2005, since which it has remained the largest party in the National People's Assembly. History Pre-independence Gallery Post-independence Foreign support The PIG also governed Cape Verde, from its independence in 1975 to 1980. After the military coup in Guinea-Bissau in 1980, the Cape Verdean branch of the PIG was converted into a separate party, the African Party for the Independence of Cape Verde. The party was established in Bissau on September 19, 1956 as the African Party of Independence, and was based on the Movement for the National Independence of Portuguese Guinea founded in 1954 by Henri Labery and Amilcar Cabral. The party had six founding members, Cabral, his brother Luis, Aristides Pereira, Fernando Fortes, Julio Almeida, and Elise Turpin. Rafael Paula Barbosa became its first president, whilst Amilcar Cabral was appointed secretary-general. The Pijacuatai massacre in 1959 saw Portuguese soldiers opened fire on protesting dock workers, killing 50. The massacre caused a large segment of the population to swing towards the pig's push for independence, although the Portuguese authorities still considered the movement to be irrelevant, and took no serious action in trying to suppress it. However, the massacre convinced the pig leadership to resort to armed struggle against the Portuguese, and in September 1959 the party established a new headquarters in Conakry in neighboring Guinea. In 1961, the PIG combined with the Mozambican Frilimo and Angolan MPLA to establish the Conference of Nationalist Organizations of the Portuguese Colonies, a common party to coordinate the struggles for independence of Portuguese colonies across Africa. The three groups were often represented at international events by the CONCP. Armed struggle against the Portuguese began in March 1962 with an abortive attack by PIG guerrillas on Praia. Guerrilla warfare was largely concentrated to the mainland Guinea, however, as logistical reasons prevented an armed struggle on the Cape Verde Islands. On the Cape Verde Islands Pig worked in a clandestine manner. After being nearly crippled militarily, Amilcar Cabral ordered that sabotage be the Pig's main weapon until military strength could be regained. On January 23, 1963 the Pig started the Guinea-Bissau War of Independence by attacking a Portuguese garrison in tight. Frequent attacks in the north also took place. In that same month, attacks on police stations in Fulacunda and Buba were carried out not only by the pig but also by the fling. In January 1966, Amilcar Cabral attended the Conferencia Tricontinental Enero in Havana and made a great impression on Fidel Castro. As a result of this, Cuba agreed to supply artillery experts, doctors, and technicians to assist in the independence struggle. The head of the Cuban military mission was Victor Drake. 
In the context of the ongoing Cold War, PIG guerrillas also received Kalashnikovs from the USSR and recoilless rifles from the People's Republic of China, with all three countries helping train guerrilla troops. The First Party Congress took place at Liberated Kisika in February 1964, in which both the political and military arms of the PIG were assessed and reorganized, with a regular army to supplement the guerrilla forces. Como Island was the site of a major battle between PIG and Portuguese forces, in which the PIG took control of the island and resisted fierce counterattacks by the Portuguese including airstrikes by FAPF-86 Sabres. Following the loss of Como Island, the Portuguese Army, Navy and the Air Force began the Operation Trident, a combined arms operation to retake the island. The pig fought fiercely, and the Portuguese took heavy casualties and gained ground slowly. Finally, after 71 days of fighting and 851 FAP combat sorties, the island was taken back by the Portuguese. However, less than two months later, the pig would retake the island, as the Portuguese operation to capture it had depleted much of their invasion force, leaving the island vulnerable. However, Como Island ceased to be of strategic importance to Portugal following establishment of new pig positions in the south, especially on the Cantonhe and Quitafine peninsulas. Large numbers of Portuguese troops on these peninsulas were encircled and besieged by guerrillas. Throughout the war, the Portuguese handled themselves poorly. It took them a long time to finally take the pig seriously diverting aircraft and troops based in Guinea to the conflicts in Mozambique and Angola, and by the time that the Portuguese government began to realize that the pig was a significant threat to their continued rule over Guinea, it was too late. Very little was done to curtail the guerrilla operations, the Portuguese didn't try to sever the link between the populace and the pig until very late in the war, and as a result, it became very dangerous for Portuguese troops to operate far from their fortresses. By 1967, the PIG had carried out 147 attacks on Portuguese barracks and army encampments, and effectively controlled two-thirds of Portuguese Guinea. The following year, Portugal began a new campaign against the guerrillas with the arrival of the new governor of the colony. Antonio de Spinola. Spinola began a massive construction campaign, building schools, hospitals, new housing, and improving telecommunications and the road system, in an attempt to gain public favor in Guinea. PIG was the first African party to establish a comprehensive cooperative program with Sweden. However, in 1970, the FAP began to use similar weapons to those the U.S. was using in the Vietnam War, napalm and defoliants, the former to destroy guerrillas when they could find them, the latter to decrease the number of ambushes that occurred when they could not. Spinola's tenure as governor marked a turning point in the war, Portugal began to win battles, and in a Portuguese invasion of Guinea, 1970 raid on Conakry, in the neighboring Republic of Guinea, 400 amphibious troops attacked the city and freed 26 Portuguese prisoners of war kept there by the PIG. The USSR and Cuba began to send more weapons to Portuguese Guinea via Nigeria, notably several Iliashan IL-14 aircraft to use as bombers. Between August and November 1972 the party held elections to regional councils, whose members then elected a national assembly. Whilst previous elections held by the Portuguese authorities saw suffrage limited to a few thousand people meeting tax and literacy requirements, these were arguably the first elections held in the territory under universal suffrage. Voters were presented with a list of PIG candidates, and had the choice to vote for or against. 
Around 78,000 people took part in the election, with 97% voting for the lists. On January 20, 1973 Amilcar Cabral, was assassinated by naval commander Inocencio Cani as part of a plan within the PAG to overthrow the leadership. However, despite Cabral's death, the plot failed to topple the leadership, and 94 people were subsequently found guilty of involvement, complicity, or suspected complicity. Connie and at least 10 others were executed in March. Later in the year independence was unilaterally declared on September 24, 1973 and was recognized by a 93-7 UN General Assembly vote in November, unprecedented as it denounced the Portuguese colonial rule as aggression and occupation. The UN recognition was prior to Portuguese recognition. The conflict had seen 1,875 Portuguese soldiers and some 6,000 Pig troops killed by the end of the 11-year war. Pig soldiers loading weapons on a truck, Guinea-Bissau, 1973. Kalashnikovs for Hermann Gono, 1973. Female soldier playing cards, Guinea-Bissau. 1973. Pig recruits learning how to shoot, Ziegenkor, Senegal, 1973. Portuguese plane shot down in Guinea-Bissau with Pig soldiers, 1974. Pig soldier with his family in a military camp, Guinea-Bissau, 1974. Drawings showing Pig soldiers, Farim, Guinea-Bissau, 1974 Village burnt down by the Portuguese, Guinea-Bissau, 1974 Pig soldier with a rocket-propelled grenade, Manton military base in the liberated areas, Guinea-Bissau, 1974 Morning roll call, Herman Gono, Guinea-Bissau 1974 Unexploded Portuguese bomb, Kanjamari, Guinea-Bissau, 1974 Armed escort carries a wounded person to the Senegalese border, Serra, Guinea-Bissau, 1974 After achieving independence, the PIG was instituted as the sole legal political party of Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde with Luis Cabral becoming president of Guinea-Bissau. A second set of one-party elections were held in 1976 and 1977. Although the PIG strove for a union between Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde, the union finally broke down in 1980 following the military coup led by João Bernardo Vieira against the Cape Verdean Cabral. The Cape Verdean branch of PIG was subsequently converted into a separate party, the African Independence Party of Cape Verde. Under Vieira, the party continued to govern the country in the 1980s and 1990s. One-party elections were held in 1984 and 1989, and Vieira was re-elected as PEG secretary-general at the party's fourth congress in November 1986. Following the introduction of multi-party politics in May 1991, the first multi-party elections were held in 1994. The general elections also saw the introduction of the direct election of the president. Vieira beat Cumba Ila of the Party for Social Renewal in the runoff, while the PEG won 62 out of 100 seats in the National People's Assembly with 46% of the vote. Vieira was re elected for another four year term as president of PEG in mid May 1998 at the party's 6th Congress, with 438 votes in favor, 8 opposed, and 4 abstaining. The post of Secretary-General was abolished at this Congress.
An outbreak of civil war in June 1998 eventually led to the ousting of Vieira in May 1999. A few days later, former Prime Minister Manuel Saturnino da Costa was named acting president of the PIG on May 12, 1999. Vieira was expelled from PIG at a party congress in September 1999 for treasonable offences, support and incitement to warfare, and practices incompatible with the statutes of the party. Francisco Benant, the leader of reformists within the party and the only civilian in the transitional military junta, was elected as the president of PIG at the end of the Congress on September 9, 1999. Benin's candidacy was supported by the junta, and he received 174 votes against 133 votes for the only opposing candidate. General elections were held in November 1999, with a presidential runoff on January 16, 2000. The elections saw the PIG lose power for the first time as PIG candidate Malam Bakay Sanya lost to PRS leader Ila in the presidential elections, whilst the PIG were reduced to being the third largest party in the National People's Assembly after being beaten by the PRS and the resistance of Guinea-Bissau Bafata movement. The 2004 legislative elections saw the PIG regain its position as the largest party winning 45 of 100 seats. In May 2004 it formed a government with party leader, Carlos Gomez Jr. becoming prime minister. In the 2005 presidential election, PIG candidate Malam Bakay Sanya was defeated in the second round by Vieira, who had returned from exile and ran as an independent. A few weeks after taking office, Vieira dismissed Carlos Gomez Jr. as Prime Minister and appointed Aristides Gomez, who had formerly been a high-ranking member of PIG but had left the party to support Vieira. In March 2007, the PIG formed a three-party alliance with the PRS and the United Social Democratic Party as the three parties sought to form a new government. This led to a successful no-confidence vote against Aristides Gomez and his resignation late in the month, on April 9 Martin Hoen Dafa Kabi, the choice of the three parties, was appointed Prime Minister by Vieira, and on April 17 a new government was named, composed of ministers from the three parties. PIG withdrew its backing for Kabi on February 29, 2008 stating that this was done to avoid acts of indiscipline threatening cohesion and unity in the party. The PIG's Seventh Ordinary Congress was held in Gabu in June 2008. Malam Bakay Sanya, the party's presidential candidate in 2000 and 2005, challenged Gomez for the party leadership but Gomez was re-elected for a five-year term as president of PIG by a vote of 578-355. Cabi, Cipriano Casima, and Basiro Dia also contested the leadership election, but attracted comparatively little support. After Cabi dismissed the directors of Customs, Taxes, and the Treasury on July 25, 2008 without notifying the party, the PIG decided to withdraw from the three-party stability pact that was signed in March 2007. Vieira then dismissed Cabi and appointed Carlos Correa as Prime Minister on August 5. Parliamentary elections were subsequently held in November 2008, with the PIG winning two-thirds of the seats. In presidential elections the following year, Sanya defeated Kumba Ila in the runoff. After Sanya's death in January 2012, early presidential elections were held. Carlos Gomez Jr. was nominated as the PIG candidate, and advanced to the runoff alongside Ila, but a military coup in April prevented it taking place. General elections were eventually held in 2014 
and saw PIG candidate José Mario Vaz elected president, whilst the party also retained its majority in the National People's Assembly, winning 57 of the 102 seats. The PIG received support from the governments of China, Cuba, Soviet Union, Senegal, Guinea, Libya, Algeria, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Ghana.